Welcome back. So yesterday, Texas came out with recommendations for students returning to school in the fall. But what will school look like for those who are supposed to be heading off to college in the next couple of months? Here to discuss it is Dr. James Hurley. He was the president of Tarleton State University. Dr. Hurley, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you, and good afternoon. I know you guys have a lot of difficult decisions. So can you tell us where uh, Tarleton stands with your reopening plan? Yeah, so as of now, we're planning on a full face-to-face -face return. Um, that will look a bit different in terms of what students will have to adhere to in terms of face coverings, face masks. We have worked really, really um, uh, diligently to ensure that classrooms and other common spaces will be properly social distanced. And so uh, we have roughly uh, 3,800 beds across 12 residence halls, residential halls, I should say, so in terms of having massive, large, uh, four to 500 bed units, we don't have that. And so we have the luxury of having roughly three to 400. We do not have stacked uh, bedding. And so we feel very confident that our students would be safe and, and, and we could protect and, and ensure uh, the social well-being. So are you making changes to the way the students live together and, and, and are housed together? Or is that essentially what you have a roommate like you would have had before? How does that work? Yeah, and so typically in, in at Tarleton, we have a situation where each of our dorms have two students per dorm room. We will not have any dorm rooms, uh, residence halls that have more than two. And so uh, that way they have um, one shared restroom facility. Uh, and each of our beds are spaced roughly five to six feet apart anyways. And so we're really blessed that that social distance component has already been in place. What we will not allow is uh, for certain um, dormitories, residence halls, to have three or four students per room. And so we have limited that to two uh, and want to once again ensure that we uh, maintain that social distance. I guess the biggest change for students is obviously going to be, you know, the requirement of face masks, face coverings in public spaces, um, and then to ensure that we keep and minimize the number of individuals that are meeting at those so public right now spaces. We're, right now we're in this uh, uh, moment in Texas, let's just talk about Texas, where uh, we're in, in, at a peak, and I, I don't know, what, you know what your plans called for. Are, is there a certain level that you need to see the outbreak contained to in order to execute your plan, or would you execute it today as it stands? We would execute it today as it stands, but obviously we want it to, to monitor uh, what's taking place. The, the rise in, in uh, the coronavirus um, uh, positive cases has concerned me and other educational leaders across the state. We would hope that that will level off and start to decrease over the next 30 to 40 days. So we feel really uh, confident that we have a good pro uh, process and protocol in place to ensure that uh, we could have a safe opening. And what will you say to uh, professors who say, or teachers or faculty, I, I, I'm not comfortable being on campus, and to students as well, say, I, I don't, I, I don't want to be there right now under these situations. Right, and so what we've built um, is what's called a high flex model where students can learn either face to face, um, if they're comfortable in that setting. They can also learn in a synchronous online model, which means they can watch the professor uh, teach uh, live, and then the online component, which would be asynchronous, which those lectures are captured, uh, placed online, and students can watch at their own pace. I think we got about 20 seconds here, but what about sports and football? Will you be playing sports in the fall? Well, as of now, we think so, but that's one of the, um, I mean, I'm sure you we saw today the Ivy League just announced that yeah. they have postponed all fall sports. Right. So that's, that's really up in the air, and it's going to be difficult to decide now. Another tough decision to make, but thank you very much for your time, and good luck at Tarleton, President James Hurley. Thanks for having us. Thank you.